Hey guys. So. I want to break this down. Because. Guess what? I got triggered. I got triggered. Oh, 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 I wouldn't lie. I got triggered. Uh, uh, I was feeling pretty, yo. Uh, You know, fantastic because I was explaining the fact of one being trying to be sharing my content and you know since I posted a video about sending me eggs on uh on black two whatever and I was explaining like I was explaining it in a way so everybody could understand how it works and I had links to King Nappy's video in the description explaining it better than what I was explaining it in my personal uh, video so and going over that I was, I was sharing it through the aminos that I have added myself onto and I shared the video and as I did a invite people to a public chat about the video. So, you know, I'll, I'll have like occasional someone who just leaves from the chat or still stays in the chat or at least comment about what's going on in the chat. Clearly, you know, I don't know why would someone will ask about what the chat is about. Or the fact that they didn't read it or watch the video or whatever. But what really grinds my gears about it, what really fucking grinds my gears about it is when someone feels the need that they need me to have permission to send them an invite about the subject. When in reality, I had to send them a message about a subject to getting their permission about the subject. It's like I'm not completely asking you to just go ahead and send me the egg or anything. But still, it's like I sent you my content so you could check out the content. And the fact that you told me that I had to have permission to send you the content makes no fucking sense. Now, regardless of if I did have, you know, message you beforehand, and you said it was okay to send me the set product of what you're trying to show me, I still wouldn't think it would have made a difference because you would have probably said, okay, well, no, I'm not going to do it. And then leave the chat. You could have did that. I could have did that. But regardless of that, you could have also had left the chat no matter what. Even if I did send it to you in a public chat and I invited you in the public chat, you could have just left the chat all, all together. Because that's how I usually do it. Is If I feel like I was invited to a certain chat that I know that didn't fit my interest I would leave the chat a lot of you guys did that some of you guys didn't do that you had to explain your reasons why to me of oh I don't care and then I'm gonna leave or oh, this have no you know and another thing that also was because you know again was a big bother to me is a lot of people aren't trying to understand the fact that they didn't have the game to trade me the pokemon and i feel like i i feel like i explained this in the video that it's a rom game it's a digital copy of the game but a lot of people had comment on my video about saying that oh technically the online server doesn't work on black 2 and white 2. I know this it doesn't work on black 2 and white 2. The online server doesn't work on black 2 white 2. The point is 
I'm not using a physical copy of the game to be playing this game on. I am playing on a digital version of the game that's going to be on here on this computer with the emulator. Like I said in the video, I'm going to have an emulator to emulate this game on the computer and use it. And then I'm going to have my friend who's going to grab the eggs that I got sent from you guys on there to be able to proceed and send out the eggs to my friend so he could put it inside the game. I explained that in the video. Now, if you needed any more explaining to that situation, because again, like I said, Everything was needed to be said and set the video. I didn't need to like confirm what I needed to say because I had two two ways of confirming what I was trying to say in the video, be my video explaining it, and then the original video of how Kinappy was explaining it, and then there's another video underneath that explaining how to do it and be able to send it too. So it's like I have. All that there explaining it but to take the time out of your way to go watch the video or not watch the video so you have the option to watch the video or not watch the video it's the same thing of joining the chat or not joining the chat is either you leave from out of the chat fine leave out of the chat that's all you needed to do. You didn't have to pitch your two cents of, oh, I, I'm not doing this. You know, you wasted my time, blah, 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 this and that. Is there really need for that? Do you really need to explain yourself in such a way that they, is that necessarily for you to be in the chat? And then I'm just going to go ahead and leave. Why do you have to come at me? Me, of all people, explain to you that okay well one if you didn't want to be in the chat then don't be in the chat that's it that's all you have to do Just tell me you don't want to be in the chat but even then it didn't even have to go that far you don't even have to explain why you didn't have to be in the chat because like i said a lot of people who was in the chat either left from the chat without even explaining why they left from the chat i would have been perfectly fine with that Okay, if you didn't want to be in the chat, just leave from the chat. You don't have to explain why you're leaving from the chat. You don't have to explain the fact that it's not really necessary you for you to be in the chat. You don't have to explain the fact that you didn't get permit, you didn't have my permission to pit me in the chat. There's doesn't need to be that. It doesn't need you. You don't need to explain yourself to have me try to explain myself to you if you're not going to get it. Because at this moment in time, every single time I have been in any chat or whatever, I end up having to explain myself way too much. Even though I kind of like, there's, there's some things that I feel like, yeah, I need to explain. But chats like this, where I'm sending a video explaining how to send eggs, or I'm explaining in the description or profile of set chat, explaining, oh, this is what the chat is about, this is what the chat is for. Uh, either you, I mean, even then, I don't even say if you if you want to be in it, you could be in it. If you don't want to be in it, you could just leave. I don't say that in the chat because I feel like saying that in the chat will be rude, right? So I try to be as, yo, not mean, not a dick to people in the chat room. But the fact that, again, I have to explain certain stuff in the chat that makes me want to be a dick, but I don't want to be a dick. And to explain something like that to a person where they get it or don't get it, because clearly 
the person that I had to talk to, two people I had to talk to, to explain myself to them, is, well, one, you didn't even have to be in the chat. You didn't even have to say anything. You didn't, you, you could have just left the chat like the rest of everybody who usually do leave a chat when they see something like this or see something like other than that. You know, you don't have to be a part of it. You just don't. You just really, truly don't. You don't have to put your two cents into it and then leave the chat. Because now it just makes you sound like you're the dick by saying what you needed to say and then leave the chat. And I don't know why you did that. Why? Why do you need to put your two cents of words in this chat and then leave? Even though I'm trying to explain to you you could have just left regardless and not have said anything. But you just wanted to be rude. You just wanted to be an asshole. Fine. You could just be an asshole. I don't care. I mean, but I kind of care for the other people that are trying to be in the chat or not be in the chat. I do care if someone's being an asshole, like most people were, in the chat who either was in the chat who said something or who was not in the chat who didn't say anything, okay? Because, again, for people who weren't in the chat or people who are in the chat who didn't say anything, either left or joined the chat, understand what I was coming from and understand the fact that all they needed to do was either leave the chat and didn't say anything they left the chat and didn't say anything. The people who came in and stayed in, who didn't say anything, but came in to actually like check out the video, I commend them on that. People who left the chat and didn't say anything, I commend them on that. Because those are the people I respect as a person who understands that they could just leave the chat without having to say anything or join the chat without having to say anything. So, again, it's, it's, it really just grinds my gears, the fact that people like that who want to put their own understanding to me about what's right for them and what's not right for them, when all they could have did, like, again, like I said, were other people where they just didn't have to say anything and just left the chat. It was simple. It's simple. There's a leave button right there in the chat. You could just leave the chat. I mean, it's not that difficult. It's not that hard. It's a simple button where it says in red, leave the conversation. Leave the conversation. That's all you needed to do. You didn't have to stay in the conversation. You could have just left the conversation. But no. But no. It's It, it goes to the point where I had to put my words into play when I didn't want to put my words into play. I really didn't. And again, it just pisses me off how people like this want to put something into words and try to say that they know, but they don't know. And it's, and it's kind of like referring to like some of my other w w really regards by Gears is people who feel like they know, but they don't know. They understand, but technically they don't understand. It It's like you're trying to defeat my logic of things, but you can't really defeat the logic of things containing to me because what you're doing sounds completely stupid, in my eyes, and I'm pretty sure in any other person's eyes, will say the same thing. Because of what I was explaining is this and this that makes fucking sense. And what you were explaining does not make sense. Now, for you to defeat my purpose, you have to know, like completely know what you're saying. That will just automatically defeat my logic. So I don't have to say anything. 
And if I could reply back to you, that means you didn't defeat my logic. Now, if you could defeat my logic as to anything in the world of defeating my logic, then I'll be like, okay, you defeated my logic. I understand. I'll leave it alone. But, again, no one has came out defeating my logic over anything. So, you know, it's time for me to rant about this. It's time for me to tell you what really grinds my gears. Because, again, it's like, it's mind-boggling how people just don't understand where I'm coming from or trying to explain to them like this is what I'm talking about but you're not understanding what I'm talking about that's why I needed you to watch the video so you can get what I'm talking about because like I said the game is not on a hard copy okay it's not on a hard copy the game is not on a hard copy it's on a digital copy of the game that's going to be set up on here on the computer where I will use an emulator to play the game to record the game on an emulator. Again, on access to trades. Again, you have to send the egg through an email that I have on the set video so you could gen this Pokemon to put in to send to me so I can send it to my friend so he can implement that Pokemon A that you sent to me that I sent to him so he could put it into the game so once I eventually use the egg lock I can have one of your guys' mod. Now again like I said the fact that I was explaining that to this person and that person in the chat. I already rented on their amino already about this situation. Because again, it just generally just pissed me off. And I'm pretty sure no one's going to understand what I just said in the chat. Because there's a big, uh, big paragraph of what I said. And I, I basically explained to leave your comment down below about the situation. Again, I also have a, a friend that also explained the fact that the game wasn't going to be on a, a physical copy. It was going to be on a digital copy of the game. It's going to be a, you know, an emulator type game that I would be having it on my computer to record it. And I explained that to him and he understood it. So, the fact that he understand it, and some of you who were in the amino who didn't understand it, needs to understand it. Now, it's, it's, again, it's like one of those things where it's just, again, it pisses me off. It just, it just generally pisses me off where people feel like they have the right to say what they say because they feel like they understand the concept of what I'm talking about, but they don't. Until you have like a valid argument about the situation, fine. I'll accept it and then I'll just leave you alone. You can just go ahead and leave the chat. But if you don't have a valid point to tell me, then still leave the fucking chat. Because all I'm going to do is respond, respond to you with... Oh, here's my logic. It's a smart logic. Can you use that to understand what I'm trying to say to you so you can understand or bring it to someone else so they can understand the situation so they can explain that to you because apparently you don't understand the situation what I'm talking about. Now, I'm assuming that most of the people that I kind of talk to are like somewhere in their teens, I guess. And if if none of them are in their teens and they're in the same age group as me, again, I feel like, honestly, it's, it's really ridiculous that I had to go ranting about this. I didn't want to rant about it. I, I didn't want to just 
like put my two cents into it because again it was just the fact that I keep getting this where people just don't understand where you know that's that's kind of stupid for you to do what you're doing and I just don't get it you know it's like it's triggering it's I guess it's, it's one of the things where I feel like I don't want to be at my job anymore where it triggers me because again like I deal with a lot of people I get it and that's where it makes me seem like a dick because I'm antisocial even though I try to not to be antisocial I try to at least communicate with everybody I try to at least be friends with everybody you know basically generally just be on the same level and be nice to people but overall I still get the same excuses and bullshit like and that makes me just judges you and I don't want to judge you but it makes me judges you a lot and I hate that I hate I hate when people feel they need that they think they're better and I have to judge you on that because the more that I see it that I have to judge you makes it seem like you're not better you're not you're 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 human but you're not better you're not better than me you're not better than everybody else and it doesn't say it doesn't say that i'm better than you on that note because again like i said i'm antisocial. i just don't necessarily feel like i'm high and mighty when it comes to people it just i look at you guys and i'm pretty sure you guys look at me but if you don't look at me and, ex- and know how I act in the way of acting towards everybody, you feel like, okay, well, I mean, it doesn't look like he's dumb. He doesn't look like he doesn't know what he's doing. So, again, it's, it's, it's just very irritating where I had to go through the whole freaking problem of trying to explain myself and explain myself and then I explain myself and then I explain myself again for you guys to get mad at me because I explain myself perfectly clear and understandable to you guys about the situation. And then you guys want to turn around and then be told dicks and asshole because I did you wrong. Because I said something and you didn't like what I had to say. And then that makes you leave the chat either way. So if I need to say what I need to say to you guys so you can just leave the chat either way, then fine. Then fine. I'll do it. But I'm not going to like it because I didn't want to be a dick. I didn't want to be an asshole explaining myself to you guys. It just, I'm just trying to explain. The fact is, I want you guys to help me out with this particular situation. Regardless of what happened to in this chat room that I had to deal with it, it's just, I'm trying to explain to you as a fellow viewer, as a fellow YouTuber, to anybody else who's a, a fellow, you know, a person who, who loves Pokemon as much as they do, you know, it's Pokemon, you're not supposed to be mean to someone on Pokemon, it's, it, it, it's really, again, I'm gonna just, like, get to the point where I have to decide with certain people, it's like, you gotta be positive, it's, it's 2018 right now, you need to be positive, and, I was coming out here to be a little bit more positive because it is 2018 and it's like people are just still rude. It's like make a change for yourself. Like just be fucking positive for crying out loud. Just not be freaking rude. Don't be a dick to everybody. You know? I mean, you probably had a bad day, I understand, but you don't need to come in this chat explain yourself in such a horrible way to me about, oh, 
give me, you have to give me permission to send me this, blah, 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 blah. You know what? Honestly, I feel like I dealt with the exact same person again about sending him an invite to something. About him saying, oh, yes, yeah, I said we have permission to do this. And again, like I said, it, it just generally pisses me off where someone has to come in and says the thing that they need to say to me when they don't get it at all. They didn't understand what they were trying to get at by saying what they needed to say to me. Because honestly, the two people that I replied back to because I sent them a private message is explaining the situation. But yet again, they still come at me with like, oh, this is this leave me alone, and then leave the chat. I'm just trying to get my point my point across. But if you still feel like it's necessary for you to leave the chat and say, leave me alone, fine. I'll leave you the fuck alone. Because, again, I'm just questioning how, how you are right now. And I'm judging you. So for those two people that I'm judging... I'm judging them pretty hard because now I feel like I want to just say that where I was like, okay, well, I'm, I'm better than you because apparently you didn't get what I was trying to do. You, and if you needed to say that, oh, I don't want to be a part of it, you didn't have to say you didn't want to be a part of it. You could have just left the chat instead of making a big scene about the fact that you want to leave the chat. So, yeah, it kind of makes me better than you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that it does, but again, other than, other than that, the other people who left the chat without saying anything, that they are better than you. They are the ones that are better than you because they leave the chat without having to say a goddamn word. Those, I, again, I'll give a thumbs up to the people who actually left the chat didn't say anything but for you two people who question it and I hate when people question it so fucking much when you know that that I'm in the right I hate when people question when I know I'm in the right the same with freaking directions the same where People who just don't understand, who can't fucking see, can't even read, pisses me off. That makes me better than them. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make sure I'm well hell better than them. And it's gonna be making sure that everybody who actually was in the chat, who actually listened, who actually followed directions on the fact that like, oh, well, I don't wanna be a part of this chat. I'm just gonna leave the chat. I don't have to say anything. I'm just gonna leave. Just, just leave the fucking chat. That's all I gotta say. Just leave the fucking chat. If you didn't want to be in the chat, just leave the fucking chat. It's not that difficult. It's not rocket science. Just leave the motherfucking chat. If you feel like you didn't need to be there, leave the fucking chat. It's simple logic. It's just, it's there for you to do so. If you didn't want to hear what I had to say about it, you should have just left the chat without saying shit like everybody else who were smart enough to leave the fucking chat without having to say a fucking goddamn word. Just leave the fucking chat. It's not that rock. It's not that hard. It's not rocket science. It's, you have the brain to use it. Use your fucking brain. If you can't use your fucking goddamn brain, then what's the fucking point, you know? That's what triggers me the most. When people don't know how to fucking use a goddamn motherfucking brain to understand that you could leave a fucking chat without having to say a goddamn word. Like the rest of the people who were in the chat who actually decided to leave the fucking chat without saying a fucking goddamn word. They joined the chat and they left the chat. That's all you have to do is join the chat and then leave the chat. Without having to say, 
oh, what the chat is about without having to say, oh, you didn't ask for my permission to be in this chat, blah, 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 blah. Without having to say all that, you just, all you had to do was just join the chat and left the chat. Be smart about what you're about to say because if you're gonna say something that just irks me in a way where it's like, okay, you know, that was fucking stupid what you just said. There's no such thing as stupid comments. But it's a stupid comment that you know is stupid because even though there's no such thing as a stupid comment, but what you're trying to provide to me as a person who's trying to do content on YouTube or someone else who's trying to do content on YouTube and explain to them, well, one, we don't have the physical copy of black to or white to and we can't trade you because it's not the online is you know disabled from black to white to well again let me explain by if you watch the video and it's full or watch nappy's video in full you'll understand Nappy is using a ROM version of the game. He's not using the physical copy of the fucking game. He's using the ROM version of the game. He's intimating Pokemon that you guys sent to him to pin in his ROM game so he can use to put out the content that he was trying to do. Same thing for me, who I want you guys to send me your Gen Pokemon. So my friend that I'm gonna send the Pokemon to to put into that game so he could receive making the Pokemon into that game and so he could send me the game so I could put it up on here so once the content is put out you can see me having your guys' eggs and then switching them out like that you know as how a log will work in that situation but again, again, it's again, it's just it's a still a triggering factor where I still believe people just didn't understand what I was going with with the the video or understanding what the content was. Even though I explained it multiple times, I have it in the video. I mean, just 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 watch the video. I mean. I have the information there. Just watch the video. That's all I ask is to watch the video. And again, like I said, it's triggering. It's super triggering knowing the fact that no one watches the video. Because there's a lot of people who told me that they didn't want to watch the video. Because they understand what it was. And i feel like they still didn't understand what it was and that's why i'm still in this situation where i had to explain what it was in the video so you can understand what's in the video and that's why i'm like okay if you're gonna come to me and explain to me in this chat or well, what is this chat is for or why did you invite me to this chat you didn't ask for my permission to invite me into the chat if I hear stuff like that, I'm just gonna like, uh, either I kick you out of the chat, because I can do that, because honestly, I just don't want to hear it, because cause you, again, like I said, you don't have anything smart to say to me about your situation. If you're gonna explain to me that, oh, I didn't want to be in this chat. You should not invite me to this chat. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. Just just remove yourself from the chat. If you didn't want to be in the chat, just remove yourself from the chat. If you're going to explain that to me, I'm just going to kick you. If you didn't want to be in the chat, I'm kicking you. If you're going to tell me that you don't want to be in the chat, I'm kicking you. Simple as that. I'm kicking you. If you did not want to be in the motherfucking chat, I'm kicking your ass. It's It's... Simple as that. 
I'm sorry that I'm not being fucking PG, but it really grinds my gears when I have to see that shit, and I haven't really did a really what really grinds my gears, and I'm hoping you guys maybe understand where I'm coming from, because I'm pretty sure you have people like this in your chat rooms where they explain themselves like, oh, you shouldn't invite me to this. And it goes to the factor of like advertising too. And I know I explained this on mo most of my points where I had to deal with another person and one of the aminos where I explained to them, well, like, well, one, regardless of this, I'm in this chat room. You know, and I private message you about my amino explaining that I have a gym leader amino and I private message. So you telling me that I can't private message you about my amino? So when it comes to advertising, I can't advertise the amino no matter what. You know, shit like that pisses me off. And I get it. If it's your rules and that's how you set it for it, fine. Fucking fine. That's all you fucking need to say. And I'm going to say, okay, I got you. Yo, I'll just go ahead and remove myself from the chat. You can go ahead and remove yourself from the chat too. If that's how you fucking feel. You know, but again, it's it's where I, where I get to the point again where I explain the fact that, okay, you're you're saying this. But you're not understanding yourself right now. You're saying it, but you're not understanding me right now. What you're saying sounds dumb to me. It, it really does. What you say sounds dumb to me. And knowing the fact that what you're saying sounds dumb to me, I just can't deal with it. I just can't. It's, 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 it's just like, it really grinds my gears hearing it from everybody who's been in a chat room with me try to explain to me their logic, their situation about this and that when I tried to explain them multiple times over and over again about it, I'm just going to be like, okay, well, this person just explained to what he needed to say to me. I'm just going to kick him because regardless of what you had said, it was a bad and stupid comment. I'm pretty sure I want to get a little bit of a dislike here. But overall, like I said, I wasn't trying to be a dick. I wasn't trying to be an asshole to anybody. I was trying to be nice. I was trying to share the content. Either you understand the content of what I was trying to do or not. Regardless of that, if you didn't understand the content, then you didn't understand the content. If you did understand the content, good on you. If you didn't want to watch the video, Get on you. If you just wanted to leave from the chat, you should have just left from the chat. There's a button right there. When you go to info, it's right there. It's at the bottom. It's in a get it's in a red block. It's like a red what was it? What would it be? It's it's like it's like in a red type of square box thing where it says leave the conversation. Click that, leave, and it makes you automatically leave from the chat. And you don't have to deal with the chat entirely. Again, it just it pisses me off. It just pisses me off, guys. It just it just really grinds my gears when I have to, like, automatically say what I need to say to you guys. And this has been, like, a very long rant about me explaining it. I just noticed it because I'm looking over but, again, knowing the fact that I was triggered by it, overall, it's like, to get my point across, to explain to some people about the situation, I'm going to explain people to the situation. I'm going to tell people this and that, because generally, I just think no one gets it when I try to explain the shit on that deep of a level explaining it because I think everybody just feels like, oh, well, yeah, 
That doesn't make sense. Uh, I, I just, the the Pokemon game doesn't work with online anymore. The, the, I can't trade you the Pokemon, even though you explain the fact that it, it's it, it's a digital copy of the game. All you have to do is just send it to my email. You have to go to PokeJam so you can send it to my email. I'm not gonna explain the full details of how the PokeJam. I get it. You don't want to use a hackable thing to send me a goddamn Pokemon, even though it's not gonna be on a physical copy. It's gonna be on a freaking ROM that's gonna be on my computer with an emulator. Me going through a playthrough of a fucking game. Again, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I had to put my foot down. I'm sorry that I had to rant to you guys about what really grinds my gears. It's just it just it makes it obvious where I know I'm right and I know the other people that were in some of these chats were wrong to question it regardless. Again, like I said, if it's one of those people who are like, oh, you can't advertise and you're another amino on a private message or anywhere on a public blog, then fine. You know, I get it. Just like, say it and I'll agree and then I'll just move on and don't advertise at all. But if you want to be one of those people who just insist on saying what they need to say and then says, Okay, I'm leaving, and you don't have to say anything. I was just either gonna kick you out of the chat because I just really don't want to hear what you have to say because it's just like it makes no sense. I could leave the I could leave the amino too. I I don't want to leave the amino because again, like I said, there's a really good amount of people on the amino that I'm in these certain chats that agrees with me and don't agree with me overall it's it doesn't matter it's just like i feel like i i like the people who do agree with me on first base notice date on first base i'm trying to get the word out but i i like the people who just understands what i'm talking about I just don't like the people who don't understand what I'm talking about. Because even though how many times I explained it over and over and over and over again, you have people who understand, you have people who don't understand. If they don't understand what it is about, then just leave. Just don't say it. Don't think about it. Don't go in your brain and nog into figuring it out. Because if you can't figure it out, then you can't figure it out. There's no point. Just don't, don't think too much into it. Just... If you feel like you need to leave the chat, just leave the fucking chat. God. I'm sorry, guys. That's my rent. That's what really grabs my gears. So you're going to pretty much see this on every Amino that I'm going to share it to. Because I'm, I'm going to straight up post it on every single Amino that I'm on. Because I'm just really, really just sick and tired of shit like this always popping up in my face about advertisement uh, I'm pretty sure some of them are probably going to get disabled and blocked off but go figure because again it's like I said it's, it's one of those things where I don't fucking understand why people have to be this way when you're trying to explain to them how this content was gonna work out and that I have a video explaining how the content is gonna work out but and they just don't watch it they don't understand the content it's just like why are you on this chat room if you didn't understand the content then why are you in this chat room if you didn't understand the chat room then you could have just left the you know the conversation of the chat room without having to say 
two words to me, or three, or four, or five, or six, or seven, or eight, or nine, or ten words to me in a fucking perfect sentence explaining why you didn't need to be in the freaking chat room in the first place. I just don't understand that. Like, come on now. Just, if you didn't need to be in it, just, I'm sorry I'm repeating myself, but you just need to leave. If that if that triggered you guys, I'm sorry. It triggered me when I had to deal with people telling me this, and I try to be nice and calm about it. Try to explain to them, and they just don't want to take my my say in the matter to heart. So, you know, put it in the video, I guess. Bye, guys.